Hello again, it's Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements Together. And here we are in Photoshop Elements in Part 7 of our 8-part basic training tutorial series. Now, one tool I want to show you is technically not a part of Photoshop Elements. However, it is a part of the Elements Organizer. Now, the Elements Organizer is a program that comes bundled with both Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements. It's essentially or at its most basic, a file management tool, but it has lots of really cool tools built into it. Now you can get to the organizer by either selecting it from the splash screen when you first launch the program, or go down to the bottom of Photoshop Elements or Premiere Elements and click on the organizer button there on the taskbar. And this is the organizer. There's a lot of depth in this particular program. In fact, I spend three chapters in our books just going through all the tools that are available in this program. You can categorize your photo files according to the people that are in them or according to the places those photos were shot or to the events they memorialized or the dates they were shot. And then there are a number of very cool tools for sharing your photos and videos to social media sites or for creating really cool products with them. We're going to go to one of my favorite tools here in the organizer. Uh, I have created a number of albums over here on the left and I have dragged photos and videos into them so I can easily locate them. I'm going to go to Mom and Dad's anniversary. These are some photos we put together to commemorate Mom and Dad's 50th anniversary. And I'm going to select them all. I'm just going to select or all of them that are visible here by selecting the first one, holding down the shift key and selecting the last one. So now I have a batch of slides and I can add more or remove some later on. But for now, I just want to select them, go to the Create menu, and select the option at the bottom here for a slideshow. Now, Adobe has completely overhauled the slideshow creator tool here in the last couple of versions. It's very robust and has some very cool features in it. Now, once it launches, you'll be to this screen where you can select a theme for your slideshow, how you want it to look, and you can change this later on if you'd like. I'm just going to select Array and then click Next, and it's going to generate a slideshow here. So I clicked on the exit button. That alone is pretty cool, isn't it? That it generates a slideshow, a very nice looking peppy slideshow. Uh, just You just throw the pictures into it and the program does the rest. But you can do a number of things here in the slideshow builder. Once you click on the exit button from that preview, and I can arrange these in any order simply by dragging them around here. So I can grab a slide here, move it over there, put these in any order that I want. I can remove slides or add slides by using the buttons here down on the lower left. If I want to go back and try a different theme, we can select that option. I can go to, for instance, Minimalist and see what happens and apply it. It's going to generate a little preview for us. We can click on the preview button and see how that theme looks. So actually pretty cool and you can see it adds its own music, but you can of course customize the music by clicking on the audio button down here and select what song you want. You can add captions if you would like under the pictures or even add a text slide in between the pictures so that it has little chapters in it. Now once you're satisfied with the way it looks, you can export it. And if you go up here to the upper right hand corner, click on the export options you see you can send it directly to Facebook as is the program will automatically generate an optimized file that it will send up to Facebook and look terrific or you can select the option to export to a local disk in which case it will save your file as either a 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720 mp4 and you can drag that into Premiere Elements and burn it to a DVD or use it as a part of one of your future projects, whatever you'd like to do. Or you can just share it with your friends right on your computer or load it up to any social media site. A very cool and very robust tool with some gorgeous little templates here for creating slideshows. Just one of the many tools that are available here in the amazing Elements Organizer that's just thrown in as a bonus with Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements. Well worth getting to know.